Thank you for joining us today on HXGN TV. I'm your host, Laura Beth Ezel, and today we're discussing what's new in CAD. Joining me is Steve Mars, who is the Vice President of Product Management, and Pete Crosby, who is the Product Manager for CAD and Interfaces. Interfaces. Thank you both for joining me today. Great to be here. Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure's division's leading computer-aided dispatch software just released a new version, CAD 9.4. Steve, we're going to start with you. You know, first, just tell me, what was the focus in terms of this new release? So for CAD 9.4, we really have some new capabilities for new functionality in the product, but also uh, we have, um, it serves as a platform for innovation for additional lines of products that are coming out later this year. Okay. The, uh, in terms of the new functionality, uh, really it's, it's capabilities to support major events, large events, both mm -hmm. planned and unplanned, um, mobile and web applications, and then also enhanced call taking, call handling, and also text messages into the PSAP for people to report incidents through text messages. The innovation platform really gives us several things. Firstly, there's a new uh, built from the ground up web-based dispatching capability uh, that offers a lower cost of ownership and also a completely modernized user experience based on streamlined workflows. In terms of um, other advantages for uh, other products, really it's that we are offering a new reporting product, new mm -hmm. analysis product, and new mobile platforms. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Pete, you know, what are some of the key, you know, new features that were updated uh, in this version, you know, that it's going to bring to the, our customers? Yes, yeah, Steve talked about uh, some of the key themes that we thought about when we were um, planning the release. And if you look at the large events and uh, incident command workflows, uh, there are a number of things that we've done there that are uh, really quite significant. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, we've added support for staging areas. Mm -hmm. So for our customers, a lot of times, um, you know, you don't want to dispatch units directly to an event, and you need some way to uh, manage the units around the event. So uh, additional locations, it may be that you want to set up a perimeter or mm -hmm. have some kind of traffic control or uh, an inc incident command station. Um, and staging areas is supported across all our pro products and lets, and lets you do that. So you can dispatch units um, to other areas that the incident commander can then manage. Uh, and it's really uh, an important enhancement. We couldn't really do that very well in prior releases. And it goes all the way through mobile. And so the uh, officer in the field, the incident commander, can actually create staging areas and dispatch units uh, or assign units mm -hmm. to those staging areas. We also uh, are very focused and uh, um, very um, cognizant of the fact that um, dispatchers and um, you know, first responders work in a very, very stressful uh, mm -hmm. environment with lots of information flying by. And so uh, it's always important to be able to highlight uh, the important information so it's easy to pick out both for the dispatchers and for the first responders. So we, we added support for what we call uh, adorned remarks. Basically, it means that you can highlight event remarks in different ways to identify that they're critical so that okay. when the officer sees them uh, in the field, they can really pick out the important information. Right, right. Uh, a, th a third thing that we did on um, large events that our customers have really been asking for a lot is uh, to improve uh, chronology, which is very, very important in a CAD system because it is a mm -hmm. complete record of um, you know, what went on with an event and can often be right. brought up in a, a court case. Right. And so we made an, a number of improvements there to uh, make it easier to read and uh, more consistent with other products in the product line like NetViewer. So that's uh, large events. Mm -hmm. um, the enhanced call taking that Steve talked about is really, really important. It's a major theme in the public safety industry is next generation 911. But one of the things that our customers really uh, want to do when they're just dipping their toe into that uh, new world is to support texting into the PSAP. Uh, and so supporting that integrated text capability inside your CAD system uh, is, is a really important step forward and shows our, uh, our leadership on 
uh, support for the next generation uh, communications uh, workflows. I think uh, Steve also mentioned uh, mobile and web and uh, new improvements there, especially uh, usability efficiencies. Mm -hmm. It's a very uh, difficult environment to work in, in a police car or a fire truck. It's, it's, it's uh, very different from a, uh, you know, a normal environment. Right. And uh, anything that you can do to make that environment easier to work with is important. And so we added support for filtered displays so that you could filter out information that isn't pertinent that the event than to, uh, other than the event that you dispatched to. Uh, so that's uh, pretty important too. I think Steve covered the uh, web-based dispatch with on-call dispatcher pretty well. You know, uh, at Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, we have a user experience team, you know, who goes out and collects information from customers. You know, so how much uh, customer input was considered in, in making all of these enhancements? You mentioned how, you know, one of the things was something customers have been really wanting with the chronology and things mm -hmm. like that. So how did we take their input, you know, and, and their, their feedback and input it into these enhancements? Yeah, I think um, I've got to say that uh, customer input into the re release is probably the most important uh, feature in uh, making sure that that release is successful. Because it's very easy when you're working with a complex uh, development project uh, to lose sight of the, uh, of, the, of the overall goal and get caught mm -hmm. in the details and the minutiae. And, uh, and you can end up delivering something that does, just doesn't work for the customers. And so our vision on this release and, and when we're putting products out is to get feedback from the customers early and often. And um, I think we, we really did that. We have a very uh, um, engaged user community. Uh, we also have uh, extremely experienced uh, sales and services folks that are constantly um, in communication with, the, with our customers. And we, uh, we work with them very closely for this release. Specifically, uh, in our agile workflows, where what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll our development teams will work on a three-week cycle. Mm -hmm. They'll do some work, and then they'll turn around and they'll show that to our internal and external stakeholders, and they'll tell us whether or not uh, we've got it right, or we've missed the mark, or if there's something we could do better. And we'll turn around and improve it and come back. And so, in that way, we feel like. Um, it really makes a big difference to the release. A um, couple of other things. We do have a, a Siebel, which where we collect our, all our enhancements. We use that. We, we're also using extensively, you mentioned the UX team, um, user interviews and um, uh, user observation. Mm -hmm. And then we also uh, do a lot of usability testing to make sure that we actually got it right once once we de uh, develop the stuff and deliver, that's really important to get your hands on it. So. Okay. I think that kind of answered my next question of, you know, just how anytime with any of our products, you know, not just with CAD, uh, you know, how we incorporate with customer, you know, how do we keep, you know, Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure's CAD at the top moving forward? It's a good question. <laughs> so, um, I think, um, you know, we, CAD is a very successful product. It's, it's proven by uh, the number of years that it's been in operation, the number of customers mm -hmm. that we have doing and the t different types of workflows that they do uh, around the world. Um, and it's very important. Uh, two things are really important in a CAD system. One is uh, reliability and the other is performance. A very stressful environment and the mm -hmm. system has to always work and always be performant. And I think CAD has stood the test of time. And at the same time, we have a really good track record of innovation um, you know, over the past 20 years. Right. We were the first uh, vendor to deliver a map in CAD. Um, we were uh, very early on, we delivered uh, web-based solutions and mobile solutions, um, improvements to the map, support for consumer maps, and uh, now the multi-source map, um, BI, business mm -hmm. intelligence support, web-based records. I mean, all, all down the line, um, you know, we've, we've been able to innovate and continue to go forward with uh, new platforms, new development platforms, new operating systems, and maintain those two key uh, pieces of uh, reliability and performance. So, um, yeah, I think, I think okay. yeah, that's how we do it. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, Steve, I want to come back to you. You know, are there any kind of thoughts there that we haven't shared that you would like to share with our audience? 
What I'd like to emphasize is back on the, the, the topic of our gateway to innovation for CAD 9.4. Really, if we look at it, uh, it serves as the, as the stepping stone, the stage for uh, this whole new generation of products that are coming out for analytics, okay. for reporting, for our mobile uh, workflow-based apps, and our on-call dispatching product. All of them are cloud first, uh, mobile uh, deployable as well. Uh, all of that uh, gives lower cost of ownership and more efficient working. So I think that's all key to the future and key to the success. Okay. Well, gentlemen, thank you both for this information. I know many always want to know, you know, especially when a new release is coming out, the, you know, the enhancements and, and how it's come about that those enhancements have been made. So thank you for your time today. Thank you. Pleasure. And thank you for joining us. For more on Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, you can go to hexagonsafetyinfrastructure.com. And for more on HXGN TV or to watch additional episodes, you can go to hxgntv.com. Thank you for joining us.